I have not seen this until now. They haven't advertised this. I just realized this while on video. Oh man. Oh man. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews. And whoa! We have a new <laughs> release. That was loud. We have a new release from Rep Fitness, the Adonis. Honestly, out of everything I've seen coming out this year, this is one that I'm probably most excited for. I love my Prime HLP single stack, and this is a cheaper, and I think a, in some ways, better design than that, maybe. Haven't used it yet, but this thing looks slick. I wanna talk through it, talk through the Pegasus. We don't want have one in-house yet, we have one on the way. So we'll do a full review. If you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. But also wanna talk through the different parts of it, how I think it compares, because it's on pre-order now. If you guys like purchase it, we'll put a link below like button that you can check out, rope pay, small commission, but we won't increase how much you pay. Whew. And maybe talk through their cardio stuff too. And <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw this, but Bulletproof. Bulletproof came out or at least released a render the day before. I love this kind of thing, dude. Just the, the competition released a render of like their version of something similar to the Adonis that looks freaking slick. So talk through that too. Let's do it. Okay, so Rep has been teasing the Adonis for some time. They're going pretty deep into cables. This is one of their first I'm trying to think, is this their first standalone cable unit? Other than, I guess, functional trainer, but they don't have a standalone lap pull down. I don't think they ever have, at least as far as I know. All of them have been in rack systems, but they make them so they're modular. So this one's modular too, but they have a few different options. They have the, just the standalone. They also are selling the Pegasus attachment separate, which I'll talk about. And then I like how they have the dual Adonis cable tower with storage. I'll talk about why I think they're offering that, but man, that thing is pricey. So let's check it out. The Adonis cable tower. Okay, so this thing is a wide boy. Like it is thick. And part of that is because they're running so many different cabling. So basically they're doing, what's cool about this is they're doing a one-to-one -one on the lap pole and the low row, and then a functional trainer that's two to one on the functional trainer, just like the sliding option. They're basically taking the components that we see from the Athena and Ares, like the trolley systems, and some of that, like we talked about, why didn't they add to their functional trainer, and now they're offering them, but now they're offering them on a lap pull down low row with a functional trainer option called the Adonis Cable Tower, which is freaking slick. So, but they're offering this in two options, and both options have a plate loaded option, which I think is awesome. They have a plate loaded option and then a plate loaded plus selectorized. The selectorized has a, I believe it's a 200 pound stack. Let's see. So they have a plate loaded option that has a 210 pound stack, which you're like, ah, oh, for one to one, that's not really that much. And for functional trainer, that may not be that much for some of you. Although most functional trainers, if you go to do a two to one, that's gonna be about 105 pounds. That's more than a lot of functional trainers. Like my free motion goes to about 75 pounds because it's on a four to one, <laughs> but it gives you a lot of cable travel. So the problem is some people may max that out, but they're offering the weight horns, which I think is a great idea because the amount of people that are gonna max that out on lap pull down and low row is gonna be a small part of the population. And the weight horns allow them to basically load up as much as you'd absolutely like. And you can load it on both sides so it's not off-centered, like adding something like a gym pin, like the magnetic ones. So it's just gonna be even on the guide rods. Uh, I really like that idea. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. So it basically allows you to lift as much as you'd like on lap pull downs or low rows. I think the max they say is 360 pounds on the weight horns. So 360 plus the 200, you're looking at over 560, like why anybody would wanna load that much. Maybe they'll have attachments in the future for other things like leg extension, leg curls, that sort of thing. Like Bulletproof is rendering, but this thing looks slick. The other thing that's kind of cool is they're offering some donut plates with this. So one thing that is, uh, I, I gotta see when we get it in, but I think they're offering these in 10 pound adjustments. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> all right. I just realized something. I have not seen this until now. They haven't advertised this. I just realized this while on video. Their weight stack is in some weird increments. Oh man. Oh man. All right, so I'm looking at the weight stick. I have to zoom in on one of the really small photos. This is the weight increments. I can't see the top one, but 9.1, 11.3, 
13.6. I can't, am I right on that? Can you guys come look? Can you guys come look? This is the stack. Yeah, because KG's on the right. Maybe, maybe this is just like the pre-release version. I hope. They say the lowest amount is 10 pounds. So they say the like minimum weight on the lap pull down lower. So the head plate is 20 pounds, it says. The trolley is 10 pounds. But I don't see anywhere else that shows the weight increments. All right, so I think I've solved the conundrum. I think those photos may have been of like the beta version or something. They don't show a lot of the weight stack, but I was watching some of the videos. In one of the videos, I've got it pulled up here. They're showing 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 in kilograms. So they're rounding them off. I mean, the other photo may be the exact increments and then the increments they throw on here, they're basically rounding off, which personally, I don't really care. I'd rather just round it off. Just so nice. It's just nice to have the five. So they're showing 30, 40, 50, 60. They're going to 10 pound increments. 10 pounds, not kilograms? 10 pound increments, not kilograms. Okay. So 10 pounds on the lap pole, low row, basically. And then that would be five pounds on the, func on the functional trainer, because it'll be half that. I just don't see any photos or anything showing the weight stacks, or maybe it's just because the beta version, they're like, you know, that's the one they're taking photos with. So they're like, well, th this isn't gonna be the final production version, because it is on pre-order. But based upon what I see, my assumption, <laughs> based upon what I see, is that it's gonna be in 10 pound increments which I wish they would have like outlined that more. They probably got it in here somewhere, but man, I'm just not seeing it. That does mean the head plate is 20 pounds. So that means 10 pounds on the functional trainer, which is not like ideal. Lighter, five pounds would be nice for rehab work and stuff like that. But 10 pounds isn't too bad for something of this stature. I think it's sick. I mean, this thing I'm freaking excited for. And the price point. So when we look at the price point versus say the Prodigy HLP, the price isn't crazy bad. So you do plate loaded plus selectorized, remove the attachment, it's 2,600 bucks. When you look at the Prodigy, it's 3,100 bucks, not including shipping. When I do shipping to me, it's like 800 bucks shipping. So you're looking at like a $4,000 piece plus a six to eight week lead time. It's just like, ah, uh, versus the Adonis. Now we'll say the Prodigy is made in the USA. The Adonis isn't. So if that matters to you, it's something to consider, but man, the Adonis is freaking sick. But we had another competitor. There's more. Bulletproof, man. Just coming in, <laughs> you know, they teased this little photo here. They're like, what is that? It looks like a, I don't know, like an air, purifier or something and then the next day boom which this thing looks pretty sick i will say this is a render so it's kind of hard to compare the render i, I totally recognize why they do this because they're like don't buy the adonis wait for ours there's some slick stuff on this first off they came out and first said it was going to be one to one and four to one they're like make it one to one and two to one so they changed it so now it's going to be one to one and two to one which is ideal but they also have their isolator that they're gonna make that will attach to it for a cable stack isolator for leg extension, leg curl. Look at the, the pegboard system on the side too. And then they got some other stuff they're showing. I mean, these are all renders. So like how much of this we'll see and what it'll be like in real life, I don't know. Is it worth waiting for this versus the Adonis? Ah, that's hard to say, like, I don't know. That's hard to say. I, for me personally, I'd probably just get the Adonis, but I'm freaking excited for this because the stuff Bulletproof's been coming out with is slick. Then the Pegasus attachment. So the Pegasus attachment, I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with it. I was hoping it would. It doesn't. It's another 400 bucks. So you gotta pay another 400 bucks to get it. But I will say, it's pretty freaking slick. When you compare it to, I think the Sornex Bulldog pad is the one that like most compare it, compares to it. It's a little bit more expensive than the Sornex Bulldog pad, probably around similar when you put shipping in there, probably what they're competing with, but it does the same stuff or similar that the Bulldog pad does. I would say with better accoutrements like stainless steel, and it's also can be angled, but it also has attachments. So you can use that as a lap pull down seat, which, is slick. Also like screws in, so it'll basically be firm against the upright. I mean, this thing, I'm actually, actually out of this and the Adonis, I don't know which one I'm more excited for. This one looks really sick. I'm wondering, yeah, it won't work on the Prime HLP. But this thing's slick. 
I think it looks sweet. Now, one thing, I know people are asking about this. Can you combine, if I've got an Athena, can I combine the Athena with the Adonis? And I'm sorry to say you can't, sucks. But you can't combine them. They feel different. They're also gonna be different distances. I don't, I wish they would have been able to overcome that and make that so you could have on one side an Athena and one side an Adonis, cause you don't need both of these. Like having two Adonis is really overkill. They actually sell them and if you want to get two, like you can see them here with the modular shelving. With the select drives, it's like five grand. Yeah, 5,800 bucks for two of those. I mean, it's just like overkill for most people, especially home gyms. So, but if I was gonna get one, I'd probably get one and mount to the side of your rack with like shelving. That would be freaking slick. So this is the Adonis. We have one on the way. If you'd like to see that review, make sure you subscribe. Honestly, review on that, the Pegasus, or the new rep cardio stuff because we're getting those into to, to test and review. So if you'd like to see those, subscribe. This has been Coop from Groucho Reviews. See you next time. Peace.